Welcome back, ladies and gents, to SOD2 Virus. Hello, hello, hello. So, we have an action plan. We are going to go clear out the play carts that we missed. Uh, we, we destroyed a bunch and did not get the contents. So, we're going to head over to them and uh, grab whatever they've got in them. Uh, and then, we have a new target. So, last episode, we did some scouting down south. And discovered sort of like the landmark outpost for this map and I want it <laughs> to put it to put it bluntly I want it um, I also need to upgrade my command center hold up let's park up here for a second so we've got one spare outpost slot at the moment which is probably going to end up becoming um, oh we need to teach somebody knowledge of computers we need to teach it to L. It's probably going to end up becoming a food outpost. So that we can kind of level that out. Because we're having some food related issues at the moment. Um, but what I want to do is. I want to clear out these two play carts. And then I want to go down south. And start working on clearing out the play carts. That are covering that landmark. Um, because it's such a good. Landmark outpost to have. Because it's a staging area. It's a staging area as an outpost, and I feel like I've proven in the past that um, there are certain outposts and stuff that you can kind of do without, depending on how quickly you play the game. And I think we're doing pretty good in terms of, like, doing things kind of pronto. <laughs> but yeah. So, uh, like I said before... Um, the, the upload schedule for this has been a little bit of a mess. I'm not going to drone on about it too much, but I just started uploading Metro. That's why it's been a little bit of a mess, because like an idiot, I started to record a new playthrough, another new playthrough. Um, but I just... I, I want to play so many fucking things. Um, and Metro kind of seems perfect for Halloween. So that's going to be going out thick and fast. <laughs> thick and heavy, I guess. Uh, as quickly as I can get it out. Uh, AKA as close to daily as possible. There might be a, like a day here or there where I don't upload it, but otherwise it's going to be daily. Um, I've noticed that Avengers, there's kind of not really a, an audience for Avengers. Um, but I don't want to like just leave it at the, at the side because I feel like I do that a lot with my playthroughs. Uh, so I'm going to finish Avengers and then maybe not do any of the side stuff. Um, so that it doesn't kind of drag on too long. Um, it also means that I can kind of work on it off camera, um, and do like side missions and stuff off camera and kind of just only record the main stuff. Um, and then that gets another thing out of the way. Uh, let's equip that. Let's equip that and put that in there. I really want to see if we can get like a materials rucksack from inside of this place. I know that like the play cart symbols don't shift unless you've cleared out the entire thing but I feel like I can mentally remember um like what's in certain ones right let's uh head back thank you to the people that let me know about the rams or the rames whatever you want to call it um apparently this is already upgraded I thought with the upgrade kits you would have like little armor plates and stuff on the car but I guess not I guess they didn't go into that much detail which is a shame um, but yeah, apparently this is already upgraded, so I hate to think what the fucking regular rams is like, because good grief. We chew through these so quick. Oh, I can't park around the back of here, can I? I keep on trying to. Right, let's drop this off. Uh, we need to teach L computers. And then we need to go scout down south and see if we can uh, get a bit of a foothold down there and get this staging area. Because once we've got that, we can start building something much bigger uh, within our base. Uh, so we'll drop that off. Drop those off. Boom. And then now he's got like this fucking sniper rifle thing. Which actually looks kind of sick. It said it was a fake something. Oh, he can't reload it to save his life. Holy shit. A fake A47. I don't know what that is. But it's single shot. And that's all I care about. And it's got a lot of ammo. 
Okay, L. We need you to learn computers so that we can upgrade our command center. We also need to enact rationing real quick. Because I don't think we've got it on. Otherwise we're going to be immediately out of food. I feel like we're not doing that great in terms of like certain materials and stuff. But we're like, we're doing okay. We're surviving. Um, I feel like I'm just used to us doing a little bit better. Okay, use. So she's now got the computer skill. We can now upgrade that once we've got the scraps of circuitry and the materials for it. The scraps of circuitry, like, weirdly easy to get hold of, so I, I'm not too bothered about that. Uh, so this is the landmark outpost. Leads concrete silos, and it's these two that we're going to have to deal with. So what I'm thinking is we could swing round to an enclave and go grab somebody Ooh, maybe we could get a booze delivery because apparently they drop off food as well so maybe we could do that i'm also thinking like there should be some set characters that we just don't play as like l and gabe are kind of shit gabe i might play as because I don't really need chemistry that much, I don't feel like, because we've got um, Dice, the demolitions expert. Um, but L, we really do need that computer skill. Oh, Shield, we could have taught it to Shield. Okay, no, that's fine. Uh, so I'm thinking we kind of prioritise playing as Pagan, Bacta, Shield, and Dice. Uh... Apparently he's got a mission. No, you're not. Or maybe we should to upgrade his... His fucking influence shit. I really don't want to, though. Oh, that's how you get down from here. Okay. Where should we go to grab people from? I also need to make sure that I've got, like, enough explosives and shit. Let's have a look. Um... Thermite grenades, okay, they all do. Pipe bomb, we don't... Do we have any distractions at all? What about ammo, how are we doing? Not that great. Okay, we're gonna need... Let's see if we can craft, like, something to make a bit of noise. We can craft firecrackers out of parts, let's do that. That'll have to do for now. I don't really know if I've got like enough stuff to take out two play cards, but I think if we take a person with us and we've got... Oh, we should probably make some play cure actually. Because if we're all the way down south and he gets infected, we are fucked. He's meant to be the new leader. Okay. Uh, we could also do with some fuel. I keep moving away from... <laughs> I keep moving away from the thing and then having to go back into it. Okay. I think that's everything. Stock up on some more painkillers. Uh, we don't have anything stamina related. That's going to be an issue. Let's take some energy drinks. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and equip that until we get to where we need to be. Okay. So, let's go uh, east. East. We'll go east and recruit some people, like, enlist them. Um, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to really... Do we need to enlist people? I feel like we should, but that's just because I'm kind of used to doing it. Maybe we should look for a new enclave. Uh, find other survivors. Is anybody closer? Because I don't really want to drive that far away, to be honest. I'm feeling lazy. The low cabs. Oh, shit, the bed. Hello. We can swing round. Yeah, I don't... Like, the group that we've got, I think the weak link is Gabe. But I don't want to just, like, kill him off for the sake of killing him off. Um, 
We can maybe be a little bit more risky with him. I don't really know. I'm quite nervous because, like, I saw how horrifically it went the first time we tried to do the trainer boon. And I don't want it to go that badly again because it really was horrific and we lost two great survivors. And I don't really know what I'm going to do if something like that ends up happening again. So like, when we get around to doing the boon this time, I don't know if we should take somebody with dice. Whether we should like, use the zombie thing that we did before, I don't know. Okay, trade with Enclave, what do you guys have? Oh shit, okay. Oh! <gasps> Okay. I bought one. Okay. Uh, Patrick. Okay, so he's blank. She's got computers. Oh, we were probably better off waiting and just recruiting her. Um, apparently, I cannot find the third person. Oh, there they are. Nah. Craftsmanship. Okay, Patrick, you're coming with me. Come with... We're going down south. Going down fucking south. Gonna go take out some fucking play cats down south. Got a whistling, whistling box mine. That's gonna be interesting to use. Never used one before in my life, but from the description of it, it sounds pretty fucking cool. <laughs> so we shall see. So yeah, we'll go down. We're gonna go down to the storage container base. Down yonder. I don't know, like, maybe if we hit a certain point, I will move into that base, but I don't feel like... It's going to be worth it. It feels like quite a bit of effort. Quite a bit of effort. How have you been, my darlings? <laughs> Horrifically homosexual of me. Um, it's my day off. I'm not going to talk about work. Work was really bad yesterday. I got very angry at the headset. <laughs> it was the old getting angry at technology thing. It was not fun. I'm thinking about... I'm going to talk about work. I'm uh, Only briefly, though. I'm thinking about taking a, a shorter shift on a Thursday, because I seem to really struggle on a Thursday. Um, so I'm thinking about going from 7.5 hours to 5.5, because the extra 20 quid doesn't really seem worth it for the effort that I put in. Um, so I'm thinking about dipping that. I don't know, though. I haven't really fully decided on it. I'm just kind of pondering it over the weekend. But I got back and played a shit ton of Metro and a shit ton of Minecraft. I really, really love Metro at the moment. Like, if you do like the sort of bleak survival horror kind of vibe, and you like law friendly or law heavy rather, like law heavy stories, Metro's so good. So, so good. Um, I, ca I cannot recommend it enough. So good. I'm actually, like, really, really excited to finish um, Metro Last Light because then in my spare time I want to play through 2033 and, Met uh, and Last Light on the hardest difficulties. Which is going to be insane. But I just, I want that to kind of be part of my... Like, certain games I play through and I'm like, I want this to be part of my experience where I go through it, I play it on the hardest difficulty. Kind of like SOD, I guess. Like, if I was just doing playthroughs of regular, nobody would give a shit. I wouldn't give a shit. There's something special about doing it on, like, the hardest difficulty and... I don't know. There's a, a, a bigger sense of achievement, even if I'm record like even if I'm not recording it. <laughs> okay, so we've got this one here. And then the other one's over, over back there. I think we should probably go for this one first, to be fair. Shit. That won't work. Fuck off. That is a lot to carry. Okay. In fact, I think I can probably put that back in there. Just to ease him up a little bit in terms of his stamina. I gotta make this quick. Okay, here we go. Man, this is heavy. 
Do you want to give me a hand? Fucking hell's bells. Fire in the hole. Shit. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Take the headshot. So much for those. Oh, come with me now. Oh, that was sick. Okay, that's just gone down another another wave. Okay, I need to go in and see if I can finish this thing off. Oh my god. Well, Patrick's doing his job at least. There we go. Holy shit. Um. Sorry, I kind of can't come and help you. I know it's kind of horrific of me. But I uh, already used my pipe bomb and grenade. <laughs> oh, poor Patrick's gone. I'm just going to make sure that they stay over there. You were not meant to be over here. Fucking hell's bells. Where's this thing? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I don't know where we're going. Where's this fucking play cart? These builds are so big. How am I missing this thing? I couldn't even hear it, that's the weird thing. It's gotta be back here somewhere in one of these back rooms. You fuck. Come here. Right, let's go inside. I've still got thermite grenades, so we can probably take this one out pretty quick. Just gotta figure out where the fuck it is. I bet it's in here. It is. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Okay, loop round, loop round, loop round. Let's use this motherfucker. Hello! I don't know how much that whistling box mine actually did to be honest. 
Shit. Come on. There we go. There we go. Get out, get out, get out. Okay, both of them are gone. Both of them are gone. Grab that. Okay, we need to get back to the car real quick. And we need to go over and claim that outpost. Fuck you, you prick. Oh my days. Well, that's two more down. <laughs> ho. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, motherfuckers. We're not even at Halloween yet, and it feels like Christmas. <laughs> we can now promote dice. Finally. Oh, he gets a food bonus. Was that a food bonus? No. What was it? Something to do with his leader ability, I think. I can't remember. Can't remember. Didn't really look, to be honest. Uh, so we're on... Oh, we don't have enough influence to claim it yet. Okay, we're gonna have to come back. Because we don't have enough influence to actually claim the thing. But we're two more down. So I think what we're gonna have to do is we'll go back. Um... So how many does that put us on? Let's have a look. We can actually check now. We're on 8 out of 28. It feels like we've done way more. <laughs> we've still got 20! Fucking 20! I think the issue is like, I'm so used to having scent block and being able to just completely chew through play carts that suddenly not having it, it makes the game feel so much like harder and longer. So... God damn. We've got a, uh, a new mission, apparently. New neighbours. We can go meet with these new neighbours on the way back, see what they've got for us. But I mean, we've done okay so far, we're doing good. Uh, if we get a little bit more influence, we can go claim that outpost, which means we can then get rid of the staging area at home. Um... Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get any material income from that landmark outpost, but that's okay. We can cope without. I kind of want to just focus on getting this new neighbor's mission sorted. Oh, maybe materials? Maybe? Maybe some materials? Oh, hello. A signal antenna? That's exactly what I need. Holy shit. Oh, bollocks. I went all that time doing so good with my fucking plague cure and stuff. Come on. Gabe just found some food, apparently. Toolkit. Come on, give me a backpack. Give me a backpack. God damn. Well, at least I can repair the rams. <laughs> Look on the bright side, I guess. Speaking of bright side, I've just noticed that it's not horrifically sunny out. Uh, it's not horrifically, like, gloomy outside. So, I might do my laundry today. Fun, fun, fun adult things. God damn, my life is boring. Jesus Christ. I'm in, like, this weird sort of, like, middle ground where when I'm on my days off, I don't really know what to do. And then when I go to work, I hate being there. But it gives me something to do. And, like, the time... Sometimes it drags. I find that it drags before I go on my break, and then after my break, it doesn't really drag that much. Um, oh my god, what the fuck just happened? But yeah, I feel really weird on my days off, because I don't want to do, like, chore stuff, because then I feel like I'm wasting my day off. But then if I don't do anything, I feel like I'm wasting my day off. <laughs> I'm like, weird middle ground. 
You have done one hell of a job today, Dice. You went out there already fucking knackered. Knackered and injured. Let me lay this out for you. Building materials? No, I can't. I really need building materials. I mean, that gives us enough influence to actually go down south and claim that landmark. So, there's that. But I can't do it as Dice, because he's absolutely fucking defeated. Keep grabbing these plague samples as we go. Um, but we can get that signal antenna installed, and that's another outpost. And then, that puts us up to four. And then when we upgrade the command center, that'll be five. So we can already claim... Um, the landmark outpost and the food outpost that we wanted. So both outposts are on their way. We just need the influence now to get the food one. Absolutely not on mine, Ellie. Oh, is that a plague sample? It is. Hello. Yoink. Right, let's get him inside, and, uh... Oh, fuck. I did not realise we were going to be in the middle of a goddamn... Um... Siege. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. I really need to go get some more gasoline. We're doing fine. Chill out. Boom. Uh, what else do I need? What else do I need? Some of those. Some of those. Preferably a gun. God, not a Dillinger. Okay, that'll do. We just need enough stuff to get us down back to the outpost. Holy shit! God, of course I decide to go back and refuel when there's a fucking siege going on. That makes perfect sense. So yeah, we're going to have five in total from the looks of it. Unless we can upgrade the command center again and get six. But I don't know if we're able to do that. Um, but I don't know what our fifth one will be. I haven't really considered it. Maybe like a meds one? Or maybe a second food one? And then we can turn one of the gardens into a meds one or something. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. I really do love, like, the concept of just having so much goddamn food. <laughs> and being able to trade it all with people. But, like, by the time I've ended up building up all my gardens and farms and shit, usually, like, I've hit the boon and defeated all the play cards and shit by the time we're all fully upgraded and it's just, a, it ends up being a waste. Let me just double check to make sure that we can claim this thing. We can. Oh, we're going on a nice drive down Gatling Gulch. A lovely peaceful drive. But yeah, we're coming up to the end of the video. I'm going to I'm going to finish it off after we have picked up this landmark outpost. Um, I've never picked up this landmark outpost, so I have no idea what it provides us with. Um, as soon as I, as soon as I looked outside and saw that we've got, like, the slightest bit of sun, I was like, okay, I've got to wrap this up and go do my laundry. <laughs> I was like, god damn, I've got to take advantage of this sun. It's been so cold lately, like, it's, it's now hot water bottle weather, which... It was very briefly back in September, like the start of September got like really, really cold for some reason. I was kind of holding off on having any hot water bottles though, because it's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of expensive. <laughs> it's kind of pricey on my electric bill to be making hot water bottles 24-7. Um, but last night, oh god, it was so cold. So fucking cold. And I only have one quilt. I'm thinking about buying a new quilt. Because they're quite cheap at Asda. I'm thinking about going and picking one up. It was freezing last night. My knees were knocking together. Okay, claim. 
So we've got passively spend influence each day hiring our neighbours to keep this outpost running. Reduce our available labour by assigning our own community members to maintain this outpost. Passively spend parts each day preparing special kits to help our outpost functioning. Oh. We're going with this one. So we get free materials upkeep at a minus two labor, but I guess it's better than like actively losing shit for it. That's a really, really weird kind of bonus, I guess. Let's get rid of this because we don't need it. And then in our command center, let's install that. So now we've got this big open slot, we can go ahead and build a farm if we want to. My plan is to eventually get rid of the kitchen. Once we've got more food and once we're sort of on the go with food, I want to get rid of the kitchen and build, hi uh, build hi yeah, hydroponics in there. But I think I need somebody with utilities because I don't think we've got... Oh no, we do have utilities, okay. Well, fuck me, I guess. Uh, we just need the slot. So I think we'll push forward with building a farm outside. So we've got our... Install signal antenna, we've got a farm on the go, and we've got this outpost, a towering landmark of Cascade Hills that speeds up build times and eliminates materials upkeep for facilities at our base if we put in the work to maintain it. We can select between one of three strategies, paying influence, parts, or labour. So I guess if we hit a certain point and we really need the labour, we can use it, but I feel like we're at a stage now where we don't really need the labour and we need the parts and everything else. But yeah, there we go. We've got our new outpost. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We've got a landmark outpost and defeated two play carts. I think we've done okay. Feel free to go check out some of the other content on the channel. The Metro playthrough and stuff that is going up. And subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.